Okay, this is part one of the day one of our fish pond construction, and we're going to be building a basic uh, kidney shaped fish pond, like a 12 foot in diameter, 9 foot, 10 foot wide. Uh, but before we get started, we've got a couple of things that we've got to clear away. So, this is the general area where the fish pond will be constructed with a cascade waterfall coming down the end. But first, we're going to move this. So we have a patio sitting area here. Originally, there was a privacy fence and some, I'm not exactly sure what kind of plant that is, but some plants put in there. And this is going to block the view to our fish pond. We have some pre-existing steps that come up here. Eventually, we'll have a walkway that'll take people up to the next tier up there. And over here to the right will be the fish pond will be cut out in this area with the cascaded waterfall coming down here. We're going to lay the pond out, a kidney-shaped uh, pond out over over in this area so that the the low end the cascade waterfall should feed into the low end so we'll set the low end up to be over here and the deep end over here will be about four feet deep and it'll step level three foot two foot and one foot um, some some of the fish ponds already been dug out but the first task is going to be to remove this and relocate it to another side of the uh, landscape area so that the people so that we have good visibility to to the fish pond from the patio area so we're going to trim it back and uh, try to dig it out and keep it alive we want to keep that plant um, we'll see how we make out with it okay so with a little bit of trimming We've been able to cut this back so that we were in a more manageable phase. And what we've done is, after I cut everything back, I cleared away the base of the plant and identified some of the major um, branches or vines that it was growing out of. Kind of tried to bundle and tie all those together so that there had something for the plant to um, to pick up on after we transplant it. So we're gonna try to dig this guy up and put him on some uh, landscaper's tarp, wrap it up, keep the roots wet, and if we're lucky, we'll be able to move this entire piece, bring it onto the tarp, and uh, get it out of there. And then we'll start after the paneling, see if those are cemented in or just how they were installed. So today we'll start the dig out and we've been able to remove the honeysuckle bush as well as the panel board, the um, privacy panel thingy. So uh, we've also outlined the pond you see in the um, orange marker, we staked out the pond, we've made an outline of the pond. The depth is going to be four feet where we're digging out currently. It'll step up to three feet, two feet, and one foot at the base of the cascade. And then we've outlined the basic cascade waterfalls in the orange as well. We're going to remove these block and um, basically just rebuild that so that it's level and straight. You can see that it's settled over time. Um, there'll be a 9 or 10 inch ledge here all the way around the pond. 
and we'll keep updating on the progress. Okay, we're continuing with our dig. As you can see, we've fixed the footings here for the retaining wall. And we've got it leveled off with quarry process. We're in the process of tamping down and making sure that the base is very solid. The top, once we build the retaining wall in here, we'll be able to backfill it with the soil and, and kind of level this off. This will be the top of the cascade. As you can see, we've got a lot done with the dig out so far. We have our ledge. I might need to make our ledge a little bit deeper. We've got, we've set up a couple of ropes to make sure that we're keeping things level and checking it from time to time. And we've almost reached our full depth here, our four foot depth. And then it will step up to the next level with three feet and then stepping up to a two foot and then that's one foot. And out here will be the cascade of water spillway. We've relocated the pump from the corner because we don't want to block anybody's visibility from the patio area. And we're going to locate the filter pump over here. We have a GFI outlet already installed. And the water will be pumped up the hill. We'll bury the pipe, pump the water up the hill and out through the cascade and down the Continuing with this retaining wall, we've got block adhesive to hold everything in place. We were finally able to get all of this block level and, and compact. Now we're just running our adhesive and placing the block. Back to leveling out the fish pond. 